We have some breaking political news at this hour. News exclusively uh, brought to you by NBC's foreign affairs correspondent, Andrea Mitchell. It, re it regards Governor Bill Richardson. He is withdrawing his nomination for Commerce Secretary. Andrea, what can you tell us? Richardson is notifying the uh, president-elect today that he is going to have to withdraw. We have a statement that we expect will be released soon. Uh, he is saying that he is withdrawing because of a pending investigation into a company that had done business with, Mix with uh, New Mexico. There is an ongoing grand jury investigation, and the FBI has been investigating as well. And apparently what he is saying is that unequivocally, he and his administration have acted properly in all matters and that this investigation will bear that out. But he is saying that he has concluded that the ongoing investigation also would have forced an untenable delay in the confirmation process. And he says, given the gravity of the economic situation the nation is facing, he could not in good conscience ask the president-elect and his administration to delay for one day the important work that needs to be done. So for now, he's going to remain, as he puts it, in the job I love, governor of New Mexico, and will continue to work every day with the lieutenant governor, who of course thought she was about to move up to become governor to make a positive difference in the lives of New Mexicans. NBC News has also obtained exclusively uh, an expected reaction from the president-elect, who is going to say that with deep regret he will have to accept the governor's decision to withdraw his name. There had been a lot of talk that this investigation was not going to conclude very quickly, and that Basically, Bill Richardson, Amy, could not be cleared in time for a timely confirmation hearing. And his was one confirmation hearing that had not been scheduled. There's going to be an announcement this week from the Senate of all of the confirmation hearings. And his was not already scheduled because the Commerce Committee in the Senate can't act on it until they have all of the information from the FBI. Amy? Andrea, what information do we have regarding this investigation that the governor was referring to? Do we know much about it? Well, what we do know and has been reported previously by my colleague Lisa Myers on NBC News is that there is a contractor which had been a contributor, a big contributor to the uh, political action committee of the governors. And as he was running for president, I remember that he was one of the many Democrats running for president last year, that this was an ongoing uh, contribution source for him and that they also received lucrative state contracts. What he needs to prove to the satisfaction of the grand jury is that he did not, that there was no quid pro quo and that investigation will not be concluded in time for him, he feels, to go on and become Commerce Secretary. Uh, the Obama team has been rigorous about demanding that even ongoing, uh, even current senators who are well known to their colleagues have to have everything examined before their hearings are scheduled. Uh, were, were there any other candidates, Andrea, that you know of other than Bill Richardson for Commerce Secretary? Any idea who might be on this next list then to take over this job? And how quickly does Barack Obama have to name someone? They have to move fairly quickly. This is not one of the more difficult positions to fill because Commerce Secretary is uh, more loosely defined to fit, frankly, the talents of whoever takes that job, and it is not one of the key economic policy makers. Uh, it would have been a larger job, a more enhanced job, because of Bill Richardson's reputation, his past work as Energy Secretary, as UN Ambassador. Uh, he had a lot of past positions as a longtime member of Congress and as a governor and as a presidential candidate. So he would have brought a lot to the, to the plate. He's also an Hispanic American, and that was a political bonus as well for the incoming team. Uh, the Obama administration, the incoming administration, feels that they have a very diverse uh, cabinet already, prospective cabinet, and so that they will not face uh, undue criticism from Hispanic Americans. But it clearly was one, one box that they were punching with Bill Richardson and uh, that loss will be felt. Uh, this said, there was a lot of pressure both ways. Uh, Richardson clearly was reluctant to withdraw from this. Yeah, I and was going to ask you, Andrew, how big of a disappointment is this likely this is to pretty, Bill Richardson? Yeah, this is huge because he was uh, for many, many years, a major player in Democratic politics, still is as the governor of New Mexico, but as a member of the cabinet, he could have had an outsized role uh, beyond what is normally held by Commerce Secretary. Um, still, there are a lot of possible choices for Com Commerce Secretary. I think they have to go back to their original slate, and I don't frankly know which way they're going to turn. Uh, and it's interesting when we uh, we see your exclusive uh, look into what Barack Obama will likely say here in regards to this uh,
resignation, or at least uh, Richardson taking his name out of this uh, cabinet position. Uh, we hear from Obama saying, I look forward to his referring to Governor Richardson's future service to our country and in my administration. Is there likely ultimately another role for Bill Richardson other than governor of New Mexico if his name were to be cleared in this investigation in the coming weeks? Yes, I think if he is cleared that, that he could certainly become a backup choice for a future uh, future role somewhere in the administration. But, you know, this is a big setback. There's no question that Bill Richardson not being on the starting team for the incoming administration is a major setback for a shining political career. As you know, he was a negotiator. He traveled all around the world. He went to North Korea. He went to Sudan. He's traveled in Afghanistan. I've traveled with him in Afghanistan and Pakistan in the past. Uh, so he was a major player on the international scheme. He had had hopes of becoming Secretary of State, but I don't think that that was ever in the cards for him. I think that there were other possible choices had Hillary Clinton not worked out for Secretary of State, assuming she gets confirmed. But Richardson has been an outsized force in uh, American politics for quite some time, for decades, as a former cabinet member in the Clinton administration. And this is a major setback for him not to be able to be cleared in time and to be under a cloud of suspicion as this investigation proceeds is a, is a major problem. Andrea, we know that the Obamas have moved to Washington today officially, I believe. Are we expecting or can we expect to hear from President-elect Obama on this issue of Bill Richardson later today, perhaps? I don't think that this is something that they're going to want to address other than on paper. This would hardly be, you know, their, their first statement. They've got a war to deal with in Gaza. That's not something they want to talk about either. That's something, in fact, that the president-elect has been studiously avoiding talking about. So I think that uh, it's more likely that he is not going to come out publicly and talk about Bill Richardson because of the obvious political drama involved. What about Governor Richardson himself? He will also stick to a statement on paper, likely? Not sure about that. Uh, he has to notify his lieutenant governor, as I say, who was in the process of ex you know, expecting to move up to become governor. And so there's a lot, there are a lot of dominoes that have to fall here. So he's got a lot of business at home that he has to deal with. But I should expect that he'll have to talk to his uh, New Mexico press and announce that he is going to be staying as governor for the time being. Andrea, any idea how long this investigation could take uh, for Richardson to be cleared or at least uh, for there to be any real definite outcome? Uh, that is a matter for the FBI. And these investigations, these grand jury investigations, can take quite some time. So uh, as they uncover more facts, they can you know, follow up more leads. It's really an open-ended investigation. All right. Andrea Mitchell, we certainly appreciate it. Thanks so much for bringing us that exclusive breaking news. Again, Governor Bill Richardson withdrawing his nomination for Commerce Secretary.